Hey everyone, in this video we'll take a look at some uh, common form properties and, and add a few simple form controls. Take a look at what the toolbox contains and uh, how to use the, the properties window. Okay, so I've created a simple Windows Forms application. You can see it has the default Form 1. Um, and if we click on the form, you can see in the properties window that it displays properties for the Form 1. Now, if we had multiple controls in this form, we could use this drop down box to select the different controls. Once we add some controls, we'll come back to this. Also, let's take a look at how to navigate the properties window. There's a couple buttons that we can use to sort. You can either categorize, view, view it as categorized, so you'll see uh, accessibility, appearance, and all the properties that go along with these categories, such as appearance, appear in a single list. Then we have behavior. You notice, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's a uh, slight a shaded bar uh, that runs across when it is a category. Um, we can also uh, change from properties to events for the form, uh, which we'll get into a little bit later, <clears throat> and back to properties. Okay, so let's go ahead and change a couple of the properties. First, let's take a look at uh, back color. So back color is a property that determines what the background color of our form will be. If we click on the drop down arrow, we can change the color. Uh, there's a few system colors defined. Uh, there's also custom colors that we can create and web safe colors as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and just change it to a color that you can see change. Uh, so I change it to the active caption color. You can see the background color of the form has changed. So it's that easy to change our form properties using this properties window. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, a few other properties. Uh, form board, border style. Sometimes we want to determine whether the form is uh, resizable or not. We want to control the type of border that is surrounding our form. We can do this through form border style. There's a few different options. Fixed single will display a single line for the border. You notice it changes the style of the border to a single line. Uh, and anytime there's the word fixed in there, it means that the form is not resizable. So uh, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and try the two options. To undo a uh, property change that you've done, you can uh, click Control, Control Z, or go up to Edit and click Undo, just like you would with an Office product. So I'm going to change back to the default. Let's take a look at the default. The default is actually what's called sizable, and you can see that it displays the standard border, whatever is defined by the system. We can grab the lower right hand corner. We can resize it horizontally and vertically. We can grab the side and resize it horizontally, grab the bottom border and resize it vertically. Also, it does give you the minimize and the maximize button. When it's maximized, we can restore it. So those are available. And we can close it with the uh, close red X in the upper right hand corner. So that's the default, which is sizable. Now let's change it to a fixed layout here. Save it. I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and click the run button. Now notice that when we hold our mouse over the bottom right corner it's not sizable. So it has changed it. It's still We can still maximize it and minimize it but it is fixed which is what single it indicates. Uh, also in Windows we have something called a tool window. This is normally a little pop-up with a set of tools on it. Um, and there's two types, fixed tool window and sizable tool window. This modifies what's available in the form in the, in the scenario that we now don't have a minimize and a maximize button. So if you have a form that makes sense, a, a form that's going to pop up inside of your application where it makes sense to, to not be able to minimize and maximize, you always want it to be this fixed size you want to use a tool window. Okay, so moving on. So, so you can see uh, there's fixed single, so single line around the border. Uh, you can't resize it. You can, however, minimize, maximize, and close. Uh, fixed 3D is going to give the form that 3D border around the edges. 
uh, again, you cannot resize fixed dialogue, uh, same as, same thing, uh, it's going to be fixed size, you cannot resize. Uh, sizable, again, is the default, and fixed tool window, again, no minimize, no maximize, because it's fixed, you can't resize it. Sizable tool window, same thing, no minimize, no maximize, but it is sizable, so you can uh, grab the bottom right-hand corner or the side or bottom edges and, and resize. Okay, so we'll leave it default sizable. Uh, that's probably going to show you in the in the form is the text. So we, if we modify this, it's going to modify the label in the form uh, title bar here. <clears throat> and uh, name is actually what we're going to reference our form from code as. So. We would want to give this a meaningful name. We could say uh, for my first form, maybe. And that's what, we'll, that's what we're going to reference it in the next tutorial using code as. Now let's, let's go ahead and add some controls here. So you'll notice uh, in my ID layout here, I have this button that says toolbox. And if I click on it, it expands this big toolbox. And these are all of the controls that come with Visual Studio that we can add to our Windows form. And you'll see there's a big list of them. We're just going to put a couple basic ones in today. Uh, if you click on view, if, if this does not appear in your Visual Studio layout, you can click view and toolbox to get the same thing. So let's go ahead and add a couple basic controls. First, we're going to add label. This is a control that just allows us to display some text. We'll take a look at a couple properties for that. Let's also take a look at the button control. And that's it. We'll just add a couple. So notice how I added those controls. I just opened the toolbox. I left click. I held down my mouse button. I drag, drag it onto my form. And you'll notice that Visual Studio makes it easy to align your form control. So when I hold it to the left edge of the button and label that I previously added, it shows a blue line going down vertically that shows that I am aligned to the left edge. Same thing horizontally. If I want to align it with another control, it's going to provide some guidance on how to do that. Okay, so now I've got my controls. Let's take a look at the label control first. There's just a couple of uh, things that I want to point out. One is auto size. Auto size determines whether or not the label is going to be resized to fit the text that you've entered. So if we say false, you'll notice it puts uh, some sizing grips around the control and it's up to us to si make sure that it's the right size. Next thing is the text. And if we go ahead and enter, this is enter some text to display enter you'll notice that if we resize it and we've got that auto size property set to false you'll notice that if it runs past the edge of the edge of the text control or label control it's just going to truncate the text so we'll only see part of the text. So you've got to be careful if you're going to set that auto size to false you've got to make sure that whatever text you've got in there is small enough to be displayed. Same thing if I set auto size to true you've got to be careful because you notice that it can run off the edge of the form. So you really have to plan how that auto size is going to work. The next property I want to point out is border style, and I'm going to flip to alphabetical so we can take a look at how alphabetical shows. We know we know the property that we want to get to. Sometimes alphabetical makes it easier. Now, by default, labels don't have a border on their text, um, and if you take a look at most common uh, forms in Windows, text doesn't necessarily have a border around it, uh, but you can add a border so. Notice if we had a single border, 
<clears throat> fixed single border it adds a single line around the edge of the label if we do fixed 3d it's going to add a three-dimensional border around our, our label okay so just some simple properties here you'll notice there's a whole lot of properties to get into uh, oh, another another property I want to show you in the label uh, is text align and text align you notice provides a, a little GUI representation of the alignment so there are we, we, we say with vertical alignment we say top middle or bottom and with horizontal alignment we say left center and right so if we, if we change it to middle left you know it's a it's aligned to the left side of our label control in the middle if we say bottom right you notice that it aligns to the right side of our label edge and the bottom of our label edge so we can change the text alignment so I, I encourage you to just play around with some of these properties see what you can do um, Notice how easy it is to modify the properties for our controls and how easy it is to, to add our controls to our form. I'm sure as you've already experienced. So that's all, that's all for now. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at how to modify some form control properties uh, using code. So on the fly, while we're running our form, how to modify those properties in code. Thanks.